welcome back. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Craig. Nice talking with you last week. <laughs> to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. about um, we're estimating 22 students to come in from Franconia next year. Um, 
and if you have two items on the agenda, I believe April has the signed copies from um, Chicago or from Franconia school board members, and then we'll have to go that. So, uh, the first one is the approval for the contract for instruction. So, we do this annually, and the um, what they do is they pay us um, the year um, prior or after. Um, so, all of our financing and stuff is done with the estate of so. I recommend approval for the contract for instruction for 23 24. Mark, do you know the approximate amount of revenue that we will use this term on? Yeah, it's um, with transportation and what we charge for tuition, I believe it's just under $250,000. Is that roughly? About the same every year. Okay. Yeah, the thing, um, we haven't adjusted the um, payment per student. What goes up normally is the IRS mileage rate. We did have a discussion about what happens um, if the bridge is closed down and we may have to increase our transportation costs because we have to put a you know, small income back in. So <coughs> have a little discussion that way, but pretty much uh, they approve their budget and ready to go. Perfect. I'll make a motion to approve the Franconia So uh, again, the same document we've used it for many years. Um, the, in, the increase here is the IRS rate, um, even though the items aren't listed there, but they have the agreement. Um, they approved it last night, recommend approval for the transportation cost per day per pupil rate um, that we use um, for uh, transportation payments. Second. Do you remember the date, Mark, that they think the Stuff that's going on. I think it starts 2026. So, yeah. yeah. Didn't think it would affect this one school year. So. Yeah. But I don't believe that they have um, uh, the final process done yet. We talked about leaving one lane open. We started to build a new bridge. You know, so I think it's still in the writing process. So. I'll make a motion to approve that Frank Williams contract for 23 24. Okay. Second by Corey. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed would be nay. That is approved. Item four, engage in continuous improvement of student support systems and programs. A is review and approve the 22-23 private school transportation contract. All right, this is a uh, calculation that DPI has for private school transportation. Um, you can see the history here. Uh, I believe we reviewed um, the information in 21-22, or 22-21. Um, regarding different options for transportation, this was by far the, uh, the cheapest route for us as we're required, required to provide transportation to um, private school in Somerset. If I recall, it wasn't even close. I mean, it was clear. Correct. Yes, <laughs> thousands of dollars. Yeah. Five is discussed. 
discussion on 146. Yeah, this is committee uh, discussion mm -hmm. um, at the last board meeting. Um, and um, we have until the end of July to make that um, payment as well. So um, as uh, Shannon has indicated, um, we are fairly close to balanced budget um, for year end. So now um, would be a lot of dollars to put in, but 150 would be um, adequate. So that may be a good um, thing that you could do for it at the, uh, we have one meeting in July, right? Mm -hmm. So we probably look at doing that on July 12th. Just as a clarification for the 2324 budget, so yep. we talked a little bit about last meeting. Um, we were we were able to clarify that the new uh, per member base per member is eleven thousand. So we are going from ten thousand to eleven thousand for 23-24, and then in the subsequent years we'll be adding three twenty five per pupil to that. So we're looking at um, about two million additional revenue dollars off the rent for next year. We have put together. Um, together kind of a, a scenario one with that um, that will now that we know and we have clarification that I'll incorporate into this in the agenda that we have presented is kind of a new point now just to have that more information so we'll come with an update publicly in the by July 12th if that's going to be possible but we need that effort to be in August. Well, on the revenue limit, because it is strictly going off the, on the revenue limit, so the 10,000 to 11,000 is um, that additional 10,000 on the revenue limit, like I said, so it'll be about $2 million. Um, unfortunately, we're not seeing any increase in fully wage need at this time. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a slight increase in category of wage for special education, just 3%, um, so not significant. And there's some other kind of things floating out out there that they haven't finalized yet, so mental health and those that are pushing that category of wage. Yeah, so we have our $3 million referendum this year and we utilized it for 23-24, also utilizing our additional ESSER dollars, um, spending those dollars to be done by the end of 24. Um, there, we look at, when we talk about it, we look at this as an opportunity for one-time expense cost, um, uh, transportation being one of those items, you know, considering adding to the budget more than one bus in our budget um, to get us back our fleet back that um, and then also elementary um, secure entrance um, that was a topic of discussion as well when we met um, in February or April March or April we had the one to five year needs within the district besides just regular staffing and stuff so food service um, building some grounds uh, transportation um, so looking at those items to utilize as things that would be one-time expenses Special Ed funding um, is going up by like two percent, three percent, which is about ninety-seven thousand dollars for us. Um, so we would be able to reduce our one-time transfer by about that much. Um, I don't believe that we have any concerns. They have addressed the ladies of effort um, concerns for special education funding. Um, I think what uh, Shannon had said is the biggest impact across the state would be that. There wasn't any additional general aid added to the uh, formula, so therefore, it, it you know the additional dollars that we have would be an increase in levy and also an increase in millage. Um, but it's definitely dollars that we need, um, and definitely um, would get us through a full biennium budget um, with the increase uh, on the uh, low ceiling 
moving from 11 to 11 and 325 to 11650, which is beneficial for us. So We reviewed this at the uh, committee meeting at the last board meeting. Um, do recommend um, uh, making those changes as we discussed. Um, there are a couple of items um, related to the uh, handbook that we would um, need to approve in addition to those language changes that are listed in the summary um, document within the packet. Um, one of the items was the personal day payout. Um, so this is our second year of paying out any unused um, personal days, and that was um, for uh, teaching staff only um, because of the substitute teacher shortage now because of COVID. Um, we paid those um, dollars out. We paid them out this year at the rate of $200 per day. Um, we had some discussion at our last meeting. Um, if the board does so choose to um, approve the personal day, we should, the personal day payout, we should be considering um, personal day payout for all staff that are eligible for personal days. So that would be support staff, teachers, and administrators that have um, personal days. Um, and then, but there was some more discussion about what that pay should be. So I put in and um, I think that uh, recommend that the sub rate um, of $130 would be an appropriate amount to consider because that's our cost for someone utilizing the personal day. Um, and then if we would ever increase our substitute teacher cost, we would just, the language we've built in there to know that that would then um, increase if our substitute cost increased as well. So the other item um, that we had discussed at the last meeting too was the um, support staff that have sick days in the, our practice has been to pay them out at $7.50 per day. Um, Sharon has said, I'm not really for sure when that happened. Um, it wasn't when we switched from um, the employee handbook from union negotiated contracts, so it was previous to that. I do know that. Um, but the discussion was paying out that unused sick leave at their hourly rate, or their daily hourly rate, um, based on the time that um, they have just seems adequate. Um, because many times they're, they're surrendering leaves like they made 75, and then they're surrendering the, the rest of their sick time. Those were the big changes within the handbook for the discussion and approval for tonight. What does that look on there for the attachment? It looks like it says we'll be paid at 200 for unused personal days. You're saying you were recommending 130. Yeah, I kept the language the same, Brooke, um, from the city meeting. Um, but that green would be additional language that would be added in, and we would make sure we updated that once the board decided what the dollar amount. Yes, it would be a dollar. Um, I believe we paid out just under fifteen thousand dollars this year in personal leave for teachers. So the two references to personal leave is one dot oh one and one dot oh two. Yeah, um, because the employee handbook has a section for certified staff, which would be for teachers, and then there's a personal day, uh, personal leave time for support staff. And so these are two conglomerates. Yes, they're different, different language. We want to make sure we. Yeah. Get all the language within the handbook in the business section. And then I have a question too of uh, are we on the, the amount of the pay when we get that? Yeah, I just didn't know where the um, support staff days, which one that fell under. Was that not in here? It's uh, 1301. Additional language in the sick leave payout, which is the 
there's currently there's no linkage listed. Okay. Um, no more, uh, depending on which section of the handbook we're in, it would either be one day or two days, right? Yeah, contract with employees are entitled to one day per year. That's the last one. Teachers and administrators have two, and then they'll carry over even later. school year calendar to be 190 work days. Um, pretty equitable with other schools in our area for the number of days that, that are worked. So we um, were able to meet the elements of instruction requirement. When we had both the 180 day requirement and the elements of instruction requirement, uh, that changed in 2017, I believe. Many schools at that time changed the number of contracted days that teachers had to meet that needed to do that shift. So we have enough days to cover the hours of instruction. Um, there's one of the asks from the teaching staff related to that, um, so it was approved. the motion would be that um, support staff sick leave um, available sick leave after their oh, you can see the time it's even more um, sick leave payout at the end of the year for unused sick leave pay for those that are eligible that would support receive staff. support staff yep um, would receive their daily rate um, per hour right so i'll make the motion that unused sick leave be paid out at the hourly rate of the support July 12th, 2023 at 5 p.m. in the high school LBI. The next regular board meeting is scheduled for Wednesday, July 12th, 2023 at 6 30 p.m. in the high school LBI. With that, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn to executive session pursuant to Wisconsin Statute 1985-1C, considering employment, promotion, compensation, or performance evaluation data of any public employee over which the governmental body has jurisdiction or exercises responsibility for individual contracts. I'll make a motion to adjourn to executive session. Motion by Tika. I'll second. Second by Corey. Roll call. Craig? Yes. Ann? Yes. Tika? Yes. Corey? Yes. And myself is yes. We'll take 10 minutes after the and thank you, Wyatt. And with that, we're adjourned to the second session.